Yo, yo, what's up, people? What's good? Better late than never. Hazard Squad Commander Gomez is here. This is the box for those who haven't got a chance to check him out. Here he is, man. Mm, mm, mm. This guy is quickly turning into a grail because there have there have been no weightless conversions as of yet. So what's going on with that? I don't know, but hey, I hope y'all doing good. Hope you're having a good night, a good day, all that stuff, man. But this is the box. Oh man, I'm having a good one right now because I got my hands on one, man. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what's going on. Yeah. Yes, sir. We are back at it like a crack at it. <clears throat> Check out that anime cartoony it's a bug's life face this bug's life head sculpt here did i put the batteries in let me see ah uh, i did not put the batteries in but this is the button that you press to light the eyes up as a matter of fact give me a minute i'm gonna go do that so before i put the batteries in i wanted you guys to see just how tiny these batteries are these are literally the smallest batteries in the world all right so here's a stylus from my phone just to can maybe you can like get a size comparison this is how small these batteries are so be careful with these man because once you drop them it's gonna roll somewhere and they are gone for good gonzo okay so i'm gonna attempt i want you guys to see the inside of the gomez head and the eyes uh two battery um ports or whatever you want to call them holders sections areas i'm gonna attempt to do this while filming at the same time so this is dangerous kids do not try this at home only do this under adult supervision you pretty much just slide that battery inside right there i'm gonna use my nails i need to cut my nails you slide the batteries inside those two little holders right there then you press the battery and we should have contact let's see uh click there it is oh yeah we have contact it's like we got some regular white leds but inside the gomez head the blue lens see these blue lenses on his eyeballs here so it's going to show up nice and blue you just put that back on that's so small and then the moment of truth dun dun oh wait a minute the moment of truth dun dun oh there it is dun dun na, 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 na. that's pretty bright that's that's pretty bright a little bit light that's good and my light is bright and you can see his eyes through my light that button is kind of hard to press though like it is it's really it's deep in there that doesn't stick out much but there it is though all right wanted you guys to see that um while we're at it man let's look at the head all the way around check it out check it out nice detail cartoony i like that it was time for a change from the regular bug bug looking head give us something a little more cartoony so i'll show you guys what the other head looks like in a second okay all right okay we are back with our completed gomez his head is back on and the eyes lighty up like that that is some very very bright some very bright eyeballs so you know the deal with gomez man got a lot of big big rotation there big super rotation there a little bit of exorcist going right there ah the antenna or the antennae go all the way back and go around those are nice and articulated maybe one day we'll get a head sculpt where the pincers are like articulated but until then eh, who cares right so this is this is uh the exact same sweater that the normal commander gomez came with as a matter of fact while we're at it i'll just show you guys like the difference in the head sculpts you can see that right there if you're wondering um i chose to put the grenade strap on his left arm when you buy this one it comes on his right arm automatically um, but this one came separate but i put the little happy grenades in there on his right arm and i put the gauntlet on his i'm sorry his left arm and i put the gauntlet on his right here and this one oh snap i didn't put the gauntlet in there at all <laughs> i thought i put the gauntlet on there but i meant to do it right there so we'll do that so uh yes yeah, so we got the same shoulder grenade straps 
uh, the same pouches right there. The gauntlets are the same, just different colors. The shoulder strap holster with the G, -G, 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 -G unit. The G unit belt is right there. Same pouches and patches all the way around. Same pants, same boots, just different color variations with everything. Same uh, sheath, knife holder, whatever you guys want to call it. Same sweater, same pants. Uh, we are literally copy and paste you know how you like when you were back back in school i don't know if you guys are in school or not I'm, I'm way out of high school but it's like hey man give me your homework so i can copy it but let me change some answers though yeah that's what this that's what this is but in this case it's gomez and i don't care because this is the homebrew mezgo figure mezgo character and i love it so anyway man we got our typical gomez articulation you know how it is man you're, you're and you're going to be limited by the sweater by the soft goods you're always limited by the soft goods so there's no way around that nothing you can do uh let's see what we got here though there is a slight teeny tiny butterfly joint inside there you're not going to get much movement out of that though and this guy moves around because it's literally just it's slid up on his arm like slitted it up on his arm we got some bicep swivel at the top right here we have um, the elbows are double jointed. Let's get this stuff out the way. Wham, bam. The gauntlet blocks it. So let's do this arm right here. Or the communicator blocks it. I call it a gauntlet. The communicator blocks it. Move your head over. So that goes down pretty dang far. If I do have to say so myself. Pretty dang far. Check out the gauntlet though. Or the communicator. Whatever you want to call it. We have a couple of accessories that plug in right there our traditional Gomez hands. We've got a hundred of those, a hundred of those. Um, if you notice, I have like the clear rubber band around my communicator to keep this bad boy snapped and fastened onto his arm, his forearm. It came with four bands. I only put two on it. Um, I'm gonna save the other two just in case these snap or I don't know, maybe something happens to him. Oh, warning, warning, warning. When you have figures that have soft goods, and you go to move a joint and it doesn't move please feel where that joint is first then move it appropriately don't assume that you have the joint in this correct position and you're moving it and you're like oh why won't it go it won't go forward and then you snap that bad boy always feel for that joint on the inside and then move in the appropriate direction all right that's my little public service announcement my little psa you can see his pecs poking through his military style shirt. I like that. Sweater, turtleneck, whatever. You got the wrist rotation right there. Wrist, wow. The waist rotation right there. Bending forward, looks like that. All right, and his shirt stays tucked in because his shirt goes all the way from his body or his torso down to his crotch area and there's a stitch right there on the inside of his pants. That's, that's what keeps his shirt together, okay? I had an issue with his belt, like it kept coming a loose. It comes a loose, what does it detach? It detaches somewhere in the back, like right there. It detaches right there. So while I was posing him, his belt kept coming loose. So be careful with that. It plugs back into the back with a pin. All right, so down, look like that. Same as that guy right there. And the back motion looks like that. The back bend. Then the back looks like that. So it's all the same stuff, man. The wrist rotation, all that stuff is the same. Really, what this video is about is to give you guys a really, 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 really close up look at Gomez, Commander, Moss Squash. Did you guys pick up the Moss Squash? I did, man. I grabbed one. I had a couple of website issues. So I did not get the gray skulls that were up there on the website. And I'll, I'll post a video in this video about what happened and how I missed the skulls. See, this is what I was talking about last time. You click on the link and then you click on the item, but then it redirects you back to like the home page. Click on the link again and you click on, let's try this item right here. And okay, that one works, but the skulls didn't work. Y'all saw it. Uh, website issues and it's exactly the same issue that caused me to miss this guy on launch day but thankfully I met a nice guy on Facebook and he traded me uh, a figure for this guy 
figure plus cash for this guy and it was absolutely a great deal the best deal ever man so shout out bro shout out to you right so check out these pants these khaki pants right here military style with the stitching and the side pockets which is exactly the same as these pants right here except they're gray so i think you guys get the point there copy and paste let me copy your homework but change a little bit double join it with the knees the boots are black this time a little bit of gray trim and if you're wondering about the ankle tilt it goes in that way out that much it goes let's focus the camera focus up like that and down like that so there's not much like i mean not much up but there's a lot back though and of course there's like a little bit oh there's nothing right there i thought there was some boot swivel the deadly but there's nothing right there anyways man so commander gomez is looking good so let's dive into these accessories and see what we got okay so let's see how i can do this i thought it would be a good idea to show you guys the normal commander gomez and the gold commander gomez the moss squash moss squash so these are the accessories so you can see the same holographic thing at the top right hand corner the same magnetic antenna the same c4 exploder um pea shooter we have the same blade we have more pigeons 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 boom boom is the same i guess that's boom boom right that's like an older fashion style boom boom the uh what do you want to call that the zip line is the same the repel line um the grappling hook attachment is the same there's my little communicator right there that i got to put on there all of his accessories in that first top tray are the same except we have a different color change we have a color change that's all it is i'm happy to have another boom box and two more pigeons that's cool but you can see that first that top level it's all the same stuff different colors though and again i got no problem with it because it pretty much makes sense to me so that's that put these down slide it to the side and on the next level we have our patented mezco baggie we have the other head sculpt which is right here show you guys this i know you can't see it you can see me a second here it is this is the one this is the money maker right here man and look the eyes light up here too so if you notice i have the batteries you can't see it give me a second i have the batteries right here in the pack still two more batteries each head takes two batteries so i did not put the batteries in this one yet but this face right here just takes the cake it's the money maker man this is the face right here man this is that i'm about to go super saiyan face this is the you stole something from me i'm about to smack the taste out of your mouth face look at that man that's good man some facial expressions were well overdue for gomez let's get that close up though you know how i like to do it let's get that close up though see what i'm saying that's straight man that's that's cool man that's dope and you already know you already know we got the same old hands that we always get and they're nice i would like some more hand expressions like maybe um a peace sign or one of these kind of signs or maybe even a thwip like be funny with it and give us a thwipping hand that would definitely be something weird and out of the ordinary but i would roll with it though and this is the last level of accessories um this is right here was a shoulder band i was telling you about which is this band right there on his left arm with the grenades these are the two plastic straps i was telling you about that hold the communicator on his wrist here is your stand like always i love it and these are the cables that go from i believe they go from the communicator to the radio to do some fancy gomez phoning home type stuff and if you were wondering what's inside the box what's left over we have some directions on how to put the communicator on his wrist or his forearm we have our instructions and we have a giant sticker i've been saying some people like frame these up that looks good that's some real good you know some good fandom right there some good uh i don't know just some cool thing to do you know cool thing to do so without further ado 
well not further ado i mean we're done there's no further ado i don't know why i said that we're done oh by the way this is the command center with the void chamber that came with that guy this guy didn't come with a void chamber would have been cool if they did but we kind of already got one but if you missed out on him having a void chamber for this guy but like a different color scheme would have been cool but we didn't get it all good here he is man hazard squad commander gomez right hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys and you girls hope y'all enjoyed the video man have a good night have a good day and i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all like share subscribe blah 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 all that jazz i right? see you